iron ore if you get maximum 30 to 50 rupees for two tons whereas 12 percent taxes if you calculate <coughs> 3500 rupees government is going to get that money we are losing another thing if you see china and america they are reserving all mineral wealth for future it is a national wealth we have to preserve for future this type of mania mafia they are ex extracting all these things illegally this they are sending another 10 years or 15 years nothing is going to remain in india china they are huge imports they are doing even while importing they are preserving for future not only their own resources that is the situation today now all these things has turned today last year india exported 70 million metric tons iron ore whereas we imported 2 million metric tons steel this has become not only karnataka and andhra it has become a national issue now madhupoda in jharkhand varissa chatisgarh and other states also this mafia is extending their activities ultimately they are going to dictate terms here i wanted to place before you all one case study why i'm saying this case study things are happening in other states this is a bigger scandal big mafia is operating how they have done within five years time this is a really case study for all of us another five years time what is going to happen in this for this country ultimately where all of us will be that is very important this reddy brothers in karnataka if you see around 2002-2003 they started one investment company whereas they used to collect money they committed some fraud chit fund, chit fund company then governor rbi intervened they banned that company then around 2002 they joined in obalapuram mining company as director then they acquired that company by forcibly if you see its investment at that time around 2003 and 4 10 lakhs one time another 10 lakhs second time that is 20 lakhs investment i have given three notes for you it is clearly indicating in this note i will explain afterwards this first year 2003 and 4 35.52 crores turnover 1.05 crores profit second year 2004 and 5 150 crores turnover 8.68 crores profit third year 2005 and 6 209 crores turnover 20 crores profit roughly fourth year 2006 and 7 308 crores 51.89 crores profit fifth year 2007 and 8 1740 crores turnover 481 crores profit sixth year 2008 and 9 3000 crores turnover 700 crores profit what i am saying with 10 lakhs two times investment 20 lakhs now he is able to within five years he is able to got profit nearly 700 crores and at the same time this is only i am talking about obulapuram mining there is anantapur mining company there are 20 more companies he acquired in karnataka this year his profit will be 1000 crores or 1200 crores how he has done is very important issue here if you see here in the beginning he has acquired obulapuram mining Afterwards, that lease has to be ex expired by 2004. The then Chief Minister has extended up to 2017 illegally by violating all rules and regulations. Then he has done mining left and right without forest clearance. Cent Central government first time has given retrospect, uh, retrospective effect ratification of that illegal mining by force never in the history you have seen even forestry. Minister of Forestry is very strict because of environment problems. They have ratified it after two years time. Then he, has, uh, he was given captive mining in the name of captive mine, that is Brahmini steels. They have given nearly 150 acres of land. 
that land in the name of cap to mining they were processed there is a note file in the jivo they did question all these things blanket they have given then he started exporting all these things this is the permission he got it illegally he acquired all other mines and also illegally he has mined other uh, areas government land private land forest land dkt patta everything now there nobody can go there this is how he has becoming a big threat all officers are under his control either forest department mining department of those two uh, states and also that uh, administration you have seen recently there was an agreement that the chief minister of karnataka has transferred collector